Hey all you Java developers, I'm Jen Person, and I'm going to show you how to generate auth tokens using the Firebase Admin SDK. Firebase Authentication has some great built-in options for getting your users logged into your app, such as email password and Google authentication. But you also have the option to use your own authentication scheme. You may already be using an authentication scheme you like, or it may be a requirement of your application to use some specific form of authentication. Firebase gives you complete control over authentication by allowing you to authenticate users or devices using secure JSON web tokens, pronounced JOT. JOTs enable you to sign in with custom authentication methods beyond those currently supported by default in Firebase. One way to use JOTs is to generate them on a secure server that you manage pass them back to the client device, and then use them to authenticate via sign-in custom token method. To achieve this, you must create a server endpoint that accepts sign-in credentials, such as a username and password, and if the credentials are valid, returns a custom JOT. The custom JOT returned from your server can then be used by a client device to authenticate with Firebase on iOS, Android, or web. Once authenticated, the token can be used for accessing other Firebase services, such as Firebase Real-Time Database and Cloud Storage. Today, I'll show you how to create a JOT using the admin SDK for Java, but you can also create a JOT using the admin SDK for Node.js, Python, and Go. Let's get started by adding and initializing the SDK. First, I need service account credentials, which I can download from the Firebase console. Under the Firebase Admin SDK tab, I'll select Generate New Private Key. This downloads a JSON file containing the service account credentials. I'll create a new project in IntelliJ, and I'll add the service account credentials. Now, you can use whatever IDE you like. I just prefer IntelliJ because it does a lot of the work for me. In my Gradle build, I'll add the dependency for the admin SDK, and I'll import the service account. Now Firebase Options.Builder constructs an empty builder. I'll use this to set the Firebase credential to use to authenticate the SDK, passing the service account credential. Then I'll call .build to build the Firebase Options instance using these credentials. Finally, I'll initialize the default app instance using Firebase app.initialize app, passing the options from Firebase Options.Builder. The Firebase Admin SDK provides a mechanism for creating custom tokens. These tokens expire after one hour, but once you sign in a user using sign in with custom token, they will remain signed into the device until their session is invalidated or the user signs out. Tokens expire to prevent someone from authenticating forever to the app once they logged in at least once. You need to provide a UID which can be any string that uniquely identifies the user or device you are authenticating. Once the token is returned to the client, if the authentication succeeds, your user will be now signed into your client app with the account specified in the UID included in the custom token. If a Firebase account with the given UID did not previously exist, a record for that user will be created with the UID provided by the token. You can also include claims, which can customize what data the client can access. I'll show you what that looks like too, using an iOS app I made that displays a special photo and message to users who upgrade to premium content. Let's get going on the code to create custom tokens. I'll create a variable to hold the UID I will pass as a parameter when creating the custom token. Since the UID can be any string, I'll just make it some UID for now. The Firebase Auth class is the entry point for all server-side Firebase authentication actions. You can get an instance of Firebase Auth from, well, get instance, and then use this for authentication-related operations. I'll be using it for generating custom tokens using the create custom token async function, passing the UID as a parameter. Create custom token async returns an API future which will complete successfully with the created custom token, or it'll complete unsuccessfully with the failure exception. I'll call get, which will wait for the function to complete, and then retrieve the result, whether it works or doesn't. Here is where I would send the token to the client, but for now, I'm just going to print it. 
Now you also have the option to include custom claims to the token. Here, I'm adding additional claims to the custom token and setting premium account to true. This will be available in the auth object in my database security rules and my request.auth object in my storage security rules. Say I have some content in my database that I want to restrict to only premium accounts. I can allow access to that data by checking the premium account claim in the security rules, like this. I can store data in the database under a child called premium content and enable read access to this child for any user whose token allows it. I can do something similar with cloud storage. Here, I'm using the premium account claim to configure rules like this one, restricting some files in cloud storage to users with a premium account claim. I've included some content in my database and cloud storage that is only accessible if the auth token's premium account claim is set to true. So first, let's run the function without the claim and then with it to see how access to the content changes for the client. To test my function, I'm going to run it, generate a UID, and then use the resulting token to authenticate in this simple iOS app I made. And you can see a new user was created in the database. I can also create a custom token from an existing UID and sign in from the client. I'll copy the UID, paste it into my code where I had some UID. Now I'm signed in as this test user I made earlier. But as you can see, I get a message saying I need to sign up for a premium account to see custom content. If I go back to my code and include the claim premium account and run my code again, I can use this custom token to sign in. And you can see content only visible to a premium account. And there you have it. Now you can create custom tokens that the client can use to sign in and access Firebase features. Remember to subscribe to the Firebase channel to find out about the latest Firecasts and other Firebase YouTube series, including my series, Ask Firebase. I'll see you on a future episode of Firecasts.